I would like to welcome you to one of the best places in Canada and sadly one of the only reasons I would ever recommend anyone visit Ontario. I mean, I guess we have Toronto, which has incredible food and nightlife, but honestly, it's not really worth the traffic. I live an hour and a half from Toronto and like three to four hours to the Muskoka Lakes area, and I will gladly drive that extra time to go to Muskoka. I was actually up there a couple weeks back, and I'm going to be going back up, not this weekend, but the following weekend, and it's always a struggle for me to go back into society afterwards because I just want to stay there as long as possible. And now no matter where you live, two to six players can enjoy Muskoka the board game, which takes about 20 to 60 minutes to play. And at the start of this game, each player is going to get a randomly drawn location card. And in order to win the game, you have three things that you're racing to complete before the other players. And those three things you need to complete is to actually visit that location that you were dealt, gain the five different types of animal tokens, and gain a total of 25 victory points or more. And each player starts the game in a randomly drawn location, and then players are going to be taking turns performing three actions per turn to try and achieve those three objectives first. And the first action is going to be to collect two explore cards, and these are the cards that you're going to be spending in order to move around on the board. And there's two types of explore cards, there's land cards as well as lake cards, because those are the two terrain types that you're going to be able to travel. But then the different paths along the land or lakes will require you to travel in different ways. So there's actually four types of land cards and four types of lake cards, and the different land cards are to hike, bike, drive, or ATV, and the different lake cards are to swim, canoe, jet ski, or boat. And each of the paths on the board will tell you which type of cards you'll need in order to traverse that area of the board. This can be represented by different icons. You're going to have to discard a card matching that type in order to traverse that part of the board. But there is also a land and lake wild card that will make traversing a little bit easier if you're able to get your hands on it. And when you go to take the two cards for this action, you can either take them from the face up cards at the bottom of the board or from the draw deck. The only catch here is that if there is a face up wild card and you decide to take that, then that is the only card you can take. And the second action you can perform is to play a different type of card, which is called an R&R &R card. And this is a type of ability card which can help yourself or hinder your opponents. And you do want to try and get these cards as much as possible because some of them will also grant you victory points, which will help you reach that 25 point objective. And for your third action, you actually have a few different options that you can choose from. You can either just choose to pass if there's nothing else you want to do on your turn, or instead you can discard two of your explore cards to gain an additional R&R card, or you can try and complete a journey. And this is an important one because not only does it help you move around the board and try and visit your objective location, but it's also the way that you're going to get the different animal tokens. In order to complete the journey, you're going to choose a location to move to, and then you're going to look at all the different icons on the paths between you and that location, and you're going to have to discard a number of explore cards matching each of those icons. And whether you're traveling land or sea or a combination of the two, the number of cards you discard is going to determine which animal you see along that journey. So you want to keep in mind which animals you haven't seen yet and then try to take the paths that require you to discard the right number of cards so that you'll gain the token of that animal. And some of these tokens can also grant you victory points. And the game continues like this until the player gets all five animal tokens, visits their objective location, and reaches 25 victory points. And the first player to do that wins the game.